Designing and documenting breadboard circuits using software prototyping tools has become popular in the maker community. However, the existing software requires the circuit components to be manually added and connected, which can be error-prone and time-consuming. To reduce error and save users' time, we propose AutoFritz, a fritzing and interface providing autocomplete for the design of virtual breadboard circuits. When a user inserts a circuit component into the breadboard, the system provides a list of suggestions, which completes or extends the electronic functionality of the component. Our system provides four types of autocomplete suggestions. Module completion. Our system suggests ways to form a component module based on its datasheet schematic. The suggestions are ranked based on their frequency in our circuit database. Module-to-module module completion After a module is completed, the system suggests other modules for extended functionality. This is done based on how frequently the two modules are used together by the community. Wire connection completion If a candidate module is accepted by the user, the system suggests how it can be connected to the current module according to the source project. Our system can also provide suggestions to complete wire connections if the user manually build the first wire connection between two modules. Microcontroller or battery completion Upon completing a module, our system can also suggest a battery or hardware platform, such as Arduino, to complete the circuit. Here, we demonstrate how to build a distance alarm with Autofritz. The device uses a distance sensor to measure the distance of a nearby object. If the distance is shorter than a threshold, the device turns on an LED and plays a sound using a speaker. First, a user drags a speaker component into the virtual breadboard. Once the speaker is added, Autofritz shows four suggestion icons in the suggestion panel. Each represents a different way to complete the speaker component to a speaker module. She can browse the icons of suggested components. Below each icon, the user finds a list of 1 to 5 stars, representing how frequently the suggested way of completing a module appears in the existing circuits in our database. The user finds that the first suggestion seems to be the one she needs. She clicks the icon to complete the module. The system then updates the suggestion panel to show the modules that are often used with the speaker module. The user places the cursor over the first suggestion and she notices that in the source panel, there's a list of links that can bring her the source projects based on which the suggestion was made. The user clicks the links and finds that they are all projects involving a speaker directly connected to the Arduino Uno. She's now confident about her choice and selects it for the speaker. The system now updates the suggestion panel to show varying ways of wire connections. The user selects on the wire connection that seems to work for her goal to complete the speaker circuit. Following a similar procedure, the user inserts the LED and distance sensor modules. She connects them to the Arduino board by following Autofritz suggestions. We conducted an experiment to evaluate our system. The task involved creating four circuits with low and high complexity. The low complexity tasks include Morse code communication. Mixing color lamp. And the high complexity tasks include stomp pedal and LCD thermometer. 8 novice and 8 expert participants were recruited and asked to complete two circuits for complexity with or without using Autofritz. The study results indicate that Autofritz helped participants build more correct circuits. The qualitative evaluation also suggests that Autofritz reduced participants' mental effort and frustration and increased their confidence. For more information, please read our paper.